The AfriCat Lion Research Program involves approximately 10 lions that we have collared. We are trying to establish population density, and this is the idea, or this is the main essential work behind our research project. It's trying to establish numbers within the protected area, as well as movement patterns. So the idea here is once we collar lions, it has a GPS function as well as a VHF, and the GPS is essential for us to try and monitor the movement of these animals in relation to farming communities on the boundary. So this is where the geofencing comes in, where we more or less know every two hours where these animals are. And when we see that they're moving out of protected areas onto farmland and certain farming areas or cattle herds are being threatened, we then send WhatsApps or SMS messages to the farmers or to the lion guards in the area. I am a full candidate member of uh, Africa North as a land guardian. As we know that education is a key, we need more training about farming, we need more training about wildlife, us to get more information to the farmers. These lion guards or farmers are then in a position to bring their animals into safety, into the bomas or kraals that we've actually built in these areas. very much a multi-stranded operation that's going on here linking the the monitoring and the welfare of the animals is, is one side of it um, but leading more so to to try to, to break this cycle of the human wildlife conflict that the, the lion kills the cow the farmer kills the lion and, and just try to, to break that vicious circle really. The main mission of the AfriCat Foundation is to try and protect and conserve the large carnivores of Namibia. So basically the AfriCat Foundation's main aim is through conservation, through education, to try and create a livable coexistence, so to speak, between farmers and wildlife.